Welcome back. We are here with Jamie Greenberg from his film Future 38. Tell us a little bit about your film. I love the premise. Oh, thank you very much. It's very exciting for me. Uh, I wrote and directed it, and it's making its world premiere tomorrow uh, here in town oh, at Slam Dance. And what uh, time is that? Uh, 9 p.m. Okay, 9 so p.m. We get our butts down at 9 yes, at the Treasure Mountain Inn <laughs> on, on Tuesday, world premiere, 9 p.m. Uh, it's a fun movie. We begin with an introduction from Neil deGrasse Tyson. And he tells us that uh, we're about to see a movie that was forgotten about. It was locked away in a Hollywood vault for since 1938. And it's a movie from 1938. It's one of the early Technicolor films. And it is a time travel adventure about sending a man into the far off future year of 2018. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, uh, I, I sort of have fun with this idea that it's a 1938 filmmaker's idea of what our own modern world might be like. Okay, so what are the differences from what they found? Okay, what are the differences? Well, people speak in that great 1938, say, hey, what do you say? Why for two cents I'd Mabel, get me Briarcliff. Yeah, 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 that cl classic old, old vibe. Uh, because you know, nerd that I am, I was thinking about time travel films. And I was, you know, if you go out and you see some Tom Cruise movie set, you know, 500 years from now, uh, they, they, they made all the costumes and they made all the sets and the props look super futuristic, but the actors just speak the way current movie stars speak. Yeah. They always find their hairstyles are the same too. That's the other great thing. Yeah. That's interesting. It's like when you watch a Western from the 1970s and you're like, oh, I can tell that Civil War soldier has a 1970s bold dude, yeah. so you can tell. Exactly. No so to that end, I was exactly thinking along those lines. So I thought, uh, well, those 1938 filmmakers might have populated our modern world. Everything might look really modern, but they should still speak in that fun, beautiful, screwball comedy kind of style. Mm -hmm. So that's what they do. Well, what do they wear? Um, they wear a funny mishmash of 1930s styles and our modern style. And everything's very, very colorful, hence my deluxe purple outfit which I want to say she was admiring before the cameras went on. It was, so, I love it. It's yeah. very bold. So it's kind of as, as like a bit of a goofy human advertisement, I've been wearing these crazy bright suits here for Festival Week to spread the word. Well, what do you hope people take away from this film? Uh, what do I hope? Uh, it, it has a few rather more serious points. Some, some moments are melancholy here and there, but by and large, it's, I, I think of it as like a, a colorful roller coaster ride. Uh, I would love it if it made people go back to the, the actual screwball comedies of the 30s and 40s because they were beautiful, beautiful, hilarious films. Uh, the Cary Grant, Rosalind Russell, uh, uh, Catherine Hepburn. And so if this movie just sparks a little bit of interest in those great old comedies, I'd be very happy. Okay, well, I love this. I can't wait to see it tomorrow. Thank you. Um, where can people find out about it if they can't make it up this week because of the snow? Or they can go to future38.com. <laughs> That's fut yeah, Future 38, future38.com, has tons of information. Uh, if you forget everything else, that will also link you to the Slam Dance website to get tickets. If people forget the name Slam Dance, now I don't know why they would forget Slam Dance, but remember Future 38, but if that does happen. I, no, I think they remember it all. Okay, How good. Can you forget the purpose good, suit? good, good, good. Come, come see it. It's a really fun show. Uh, I, I should mention our cast are wonderful. Uh, Betty Gilpin is our gorgeous leading lady, and Nick Westrate is our handsome bleeding man who is on a mission to save the world. I didn't say that part. He has to travel 80 years into the future to get an isotope, which he has to then bring back to 1938, which will then save the world. And he has only 12 uh, hours, he has only 12 hours in the year 2018 to, to find the isotope and bring it back. And he falls in love with a beautiful, 2018 woman and they only have 12 hours in their relationship oh, no. and at the end he has to decide does he stay with her in the future and possibly ruin all of human history or does he say goodbye to his lady love after only 12 hours with her so that's kind of his his dilemma at the end of the movie I'm definitely not going to tell you. No, what a, what an ill-advised move that would be for me to tell you right now. No, okay. you have to come to the movie. Well, I am definitely going to come to the movie. Good. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm excited. Thanks. Stay tuned for more film buzz.